Hi beautiful people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and this is a little anecdote about that quote, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Because what a load of crock that is. Um, words can actually be just as damaging as uh, all the forms of, some, of assault and abuse and can stay with you for years. And um, you know, when I was 17, I had an argument with someone that I really loved. And in the heat of that argument, that person told me that I was ugly. And unbeknownst to them, that undermined my confidence for the best part of 20 years. I already was painfully insecure about myself because I was very, very skinny. Um, my hair was very, very ginger. Uh, it was changed over the years and it was a beautiful colour then but I hated it at the time um, and I was obviously very fair skinned and very freckly and I just didn't feel womanly at all and um, those comments just floored my already fragile confidence and put me on a spiral of doing some really stupid things to try and not be so ugly anymore. Um, you know I used to bleach my hair to within an inch of its life and uh, when I finally started to get some semblance of decent condition many years later, uh, menopausal hormones kicked in and it started to fall out. <laughs> the cruel irony. Um, I used to go under my mum's sunbed uh, and I don't know if you remember, but back in the 80s, you used to be able to hire a sunbed out the newspaper. <laughs> Someone would deliver it to your house and then come and collect it a few weeks later. And I used to lay under that for an hour wait for the timer to go off and turn over and do it again and um, I've had so much problem with problems with my skin over the years lots of sun damage I've had skin cancers removed my doctor has actually told me I can never sunbathe um, I have to fully um, you know kind of a sunblock myself up and, and uh, I used to eat a lot of junk food now don't get me wrong that sounds like everybody's dream doesn't it and it was for me uh, at the time too but I can't I dread to think what all that junk has done to my insides because I used to literally gorge on um, chocolates, crisps, just the worst kind of foods to desperately try and put on some weight. And I spent a fortune on those um, um, build up drinks that you can buy from uh, like Holland and Barrett's and places like that to try and bulk up. Um, so anyway. It has taken me till I'm almost 50, I'm 48 now, to finally get to a point in my life where I'm okay about myself. But um, there's a real danger with the words that we say. And when I met my first husband, I was just starting to get a little bit of confidence back. And then there was that drip feed of negative comments from him, quite abusive comments, comments that undermine my confidence. And here's the thing, I didn't see that happening and I used to look at women in relationships or men that were in uh, emotionally abusive relationships and think, huh, well, I would never let that happen to me. I don't know how people can do that, how that people can allow themselves to be in that situation until you're in it and you don't see it. And you actually get to a point where you start to believe that you are crazy, you are stupid, um, no one's going to love you, you are um, worthless. Because when you tell yourself something negative your brain doesn't have the ability to work out whether that's a good thing or a bad thing it's guided and and you start to believe what you were told by yourself and by other people and it's a really dangerous place to be um i mean all i would say is look it's up to us how we allow ourselves to be treated isn't it and it's also up to us to make our own happiness we cannot be reliant on other people to do that stuff for us but it sometimes takes a lot of confidence and effort to take yourself away from that situation or to no longer surround yourself with people who are undermining you with that drip feed of, of negative words. So um, look, if you're in the cycle where you're that person saying the horrible things to people, ask yourself why, because there's probably a lot of reasons, but what, the one thing I will say is you may not get the chance to make things right, and you may find that if you continue to do that, you will absolutely push the people away that you love the most, and you won't get a chance to get them back. Um, and equally, if you're in a situation where you are being undermined by the words of other people, then really rethink those relationships, because you are better 
than that and you deserve more than that um, so anyway I hope that's helped um, the irony is the person who told me my I was ugly when I was 17 we are still we, we love each other to bits and um, you know we were kids when that happened and that person would have been mortified to ever think they had hurt me but you all know that there's people out there that know what they're doing and they do it well so anyway if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together doing the best we can we all deserve to lead a clutter free life please drop a like in the video and share and subscribe to the channel and get this channel up and running and until next time massive love and now i'm going to go and get a cup of tea